Today I'm coming to you with a public service announcement. Insomnia leads to fabric buying. Hey guys, it's Viv. Welcome back to Stitches and Seams. Um, so yeah, uh, insomnia can lead to fabric purchases. So if you're not sleeping, you might want to see your doctor. I'm not a medical professional, so, you know, you do what you need to do. I'm just saying it might have happened a few times. <laughs> okay, so I have a pretty big fabric haul here to share with you guys. Um, some of these were intentional, yes. Quite a few, actually. Well, let's not. Let's not. It was all intentional, okay? I bought it because I wanted it and because I needed it for certain things. Let's just sweep all that other nonsense out of the way. So first, I, I'm just going to start with the, the what's on top. This is not the order in which I purchased it, I don't think. I don't even remember because that's hard. Um, so Sly Fox Fabrics um, occasionally will do, uh, well, no, actually they do it a lot, and we're going to link everything below. They will do bundles. So what they'll do is they will curate um, matching fabrics, things that they think coordinate uh, for various, like, you know, dresses and whatever, you know, you want to make. So uh, with the 4th of July coming up, they have curated some Americana um, bundles. And as a veteran, I had to. Twice. Anyway. Um, yeah, I went for it. So this is a rayon spandex uh, jersey. It was, where is it? So this is actually two yards. Um, and then the other one, so they don't tell you, like when you buy the bundle, they just tell you the price of the bundle. They don't, they don't like break it down into uh, yardage per piece or whatever, yardage price per piece. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so this is two yards of rain, rayon spandex jersey. And then this is a yard, I know, right, Navy, no surprise. Um, a yard of, I believe this is just cotton spandex, if I remember correctly. And this is one yard. So the whole bundle was $25. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes. $25 for three yards of fabric, um, which isn't, it's not bad. And they're, they're good fabrics. They're going to hold up. I have uh, some other things I have made with their fabrics before and they hold up. They don't really pill. Um, seams don't come undone, which I guess is actually more to the sewing and <laughs> the fabric. But anyway, that is bundle one. And I, this, I got this one for myself, um, because yeah, red, white, and blue America. Whoa. And, uh, let's see the next one. I don't want to put it on the floor. Okay. Not to put on the floor. The next one, I got this for Jack. I thought we could, um, we, I, I could make him some sort of Americana shirt. Um, and each fabric is only one yard and it is a tri-blend jersey. And the whole bundle was $24. So three yards fabric, $24. So we have kind of like a, it's a muted red, which I really, really like. And he has another shirt this color and he looks good in it. Then a muted blue. They're kind of like, uh, would you call it washed out? I don't know what you call it. And then a white. So I figured that we could make some kind of, you know, America shirt, but he's not on the America wagon. I mean, not like he doesn't like America. He just doesn't want to wear an American flag like shirt. <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, but I can mix them, you know, and make a, a shirt for him and some other combination, you know? So that's what we're going to do. He's going to figure out how he wants those used. Um, and use them because they're, it's the tri-blend. I really like tri-blend a lot, actually. Um, 
holds up really well over time for me. It does pill, like, especially in the areas that rub a lot, like armpits, but um, yeah, it's pretty good stuff. Now the shipping for Sly Fox Fabrics was $12.85. You guys know how I feel about shipping. Um, it's a little high and yeah, I don't know. I think, <clears throat> I think I'll ever only ever order from them for certain things just because that's, in my opinion, that's too much to pay for shipping. Um, the next one is fabric.com. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you will have seen some sneak peeks of this fabric. And this is a geometric Liverpool. Now, uh, I bought this for a pattern test, and that's why you haven't seen what I've made yet. But um, really, really, really nice. I love this. Um, and um, I didn't think that I was going to have enough, so I didn't really do a good job pattern matching with the pattern test. But I have some left over, and I'm hoping to make a wanted tea out of the remainder of that, because I think that would look freaking sweet. So, yeah. I dig it. You know, I have a navy problem, apparently. Then, uh, Raspberry Creek um, released a whole bunch of swim fabrics. And this is actually, um, what's it called? It's board short material. It's microfiber something or another. Everything will be linked below. But um, I got two and a half yards, and it was eleven ninety a yard. And, oh, excuse me, the fabric.com shipping is... $8.99. See what I mean? $8.99. Okay, back to Raspberry Creek. So this is the swim fabric. I'm going to make him some swim trunks. And I will show you guys that, you know, in the future what pattern I'm going to be using. But yeah, I thought it was pretty pretty cool. Um, this was $11.90 a yard, and their shipping was $7.30. So if Raspberry Creek can do it, all these other people can do it. Um, <clears throat> so next is a new to me company. I was on the Facebook group, so much talent, and we'll link that below. Um, if you guys haven't uh, seen it and I believe the lady's name was Jacqueline referred me to them because I was looking for some really nice shirtings for Jack. He wants some dress shirts. Oh, bunched up here. There we go. Uh, he wants some dress shirts and I was having a difficult time finding what I know he wants. Um, he wants to do like contrast collar and cuffs. Um, and he wants, you know, some modern prints. He doesn't want just like, you know, granddad looking type stuff. And, you know, while the granddad ones can be cool, I'm with him. I want him, you know, fresh prints, not prints. Just aged myself. Anyway. Okay, so this one is from Farmhouse Fabric, and it is one yard of 100% imported cotton white Oxford shirting, and I don't have the price on here, so we'll put it in the banner uh, when I find it. It's really nice. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see the texture in that, but I dig it. I think it's going to be really nice. It's so soft. So that is for the collar and cuffs and possibly the button placket. Uh, let's see, this is also from Farmhouse Fabric and they had bundles, uh, much like Fabric Mart does, where they have like uh, pre-cut bundles. That's what this was. And it was three yards and it was $15. And let's see, there we go. Maybe you'll be able to get that. Really, really nice stripe. Um, I like the stripey one and then the broken line stripe. I don't know if you're going to see that. But yeah, super nice, super soft. This says it's just a cotton shirting and it was $15 for the three yards. Shipping, $7.98 a yard. Yeah, yeah. So I will be going back to this company. Um, Everything was packaged so pretty. I uh, had little bows on it and everything. I, I, yeah, I was really happy about that. And can't wait to sew him a shirt up in that. So next is 
Uh, I have another pattern test coming out at the end of this month. Um, so yeah, um, I picked this up. This is from Joanne. And it, this is just a broadcloth fabric. Um, I believe it was three or four ninety nine a yard. So yeah, um, lightweight. It's just gonna be a pocket lining, um, and maybe a waistband face uh waistband the inner part of the waistband. You know, so it's soft against the skin. So then there's this, which is also from Joanne, and I picked this up for the outer part of the garment for Jack. And this is a navy stretch twill. It's uh, really nice. Uh, they didn't have any non-stretch twill, which is really what I was looking for. But I think this will work really well for him. I'm looking at this pile, and it's just like navy, navy, navy. A little bit of color. Navy, navy, navy. A little bit of color. <laughs> So yeah, um, apparently Jack and I both like navy. Yeah. So that is for that pattern test. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, Jack sent me looking for some fabric for another thing, which I'm not going to show you at the time at this time. But while I was on there, you know, Fab Fashion Fabrics Club was having a sale. I can't. You have to look. You're duty bound to look. Duty bound. Seriously. Um, ran across this fabric and when I saw it, I knew instantaneously that I wanted to make another Sonata dress out of it. Um, it's also, it's called Shally Twill, which I had never heard of. Um, and you know, Twill is just the, the way it's woven it doesn't it's not like a chalet versus a cotton okay just if you guys didn't know um but yeah this is gorgeous i love it i'm thinking of trying to figure out some way that i could play with the stripes maybe on the bodice chevron them i thought that would be kind of cool not entirely sure yet i might just you know stick to up and down Instead of making it harder on myself, which I tend to do for some reason. So yeah, that is for a Sonata dress. And it is so soft and it's so cool against the skin, which is perfect for this lovely Texas heat. And we're not going to talk about the fact that that's navy. So on to yet another navy fabric. Uh, <laughs> uh, went to Girl Charlie. Uh, Jack needed some t-shirts and this is the stuff that... I said I was going to be making, I believe it's Berta 6602, um, so a couple of t-shirts for him out of that. And this is a blue and white stripe um, fabric. And he wants, um, th the plan was to have another blue, a blue shirt, it's not navy, blue shirt with the stripy pocket on the outside. However, as you can see, those blues don't match. This is more of a royal blue, and this is more of a navy blue, so they don't go together. Um, however, in that, I also bought, and these are all, let's see, this one is a cotton, no, this is a rayon spandex from Girl Charlie. got it for two, two yards, and I don't know what the price is off the top of my head. I will try to list it in the banner for you guys, um, as well as the navy cotton spandex. Um, don't know the price. We'll put it in the banner. So I also picked up three yards of this white cotton spandex because I love white t-shirts, as you can tell. Um, and this was, they were, they were really good prices. So that's why I picked it up and I'm hoping that I can get, you know, Jack a shirt, me a shirt, maybe some sleeves for some other things. So this one, we can make this the body and this the pocket and the bands or vice versa or one of each, depending on how much fabric I have left. So that is the plan with that. And hopefully we'll be able to get that done soon because that's on this 
month's to-do list. And then, have you ever gotten an order of fabric and you're like, what the hell is that? I didn't order that. Why would I, why would I order that? That doesn't even make any sense. Yeah, that's what this fabric is. <laughs> A nude um, cotton spandex. Now, the only thing I can think is, I was thinking underwear, maybe? I don't know. Um, I got a yard of it. Um, you know, it's, it's a nice fabric. There's nothing wrong with it. And I could definitely make undies with it. Um, my, uh, what's the fabric called? Bunsies. That's what it's called. Bunsies. Um, so yeah, it would make nice bunsies or scrundle wear or even, um, the Victoria panties by Made for Mermaids, the little, they're like the tanga. Do they call them that anymore? They're like the little lacy shorts, you know, but you can use jersey in it anyway. So yeah, I could make, probably get three pair out of that, even if, if not more. Um, so yeah, that's the only thing I can think of. Why in the hell I would buy a nude jersey? It's gotta be for underwear. So that, that's it. No, that's all the fabric I bought. Promise. Scouts. Uh, what is Scouts Honor? Yeah, I don't know what that is. I wasn't a Boy Scout. So I hope you enjoyed being privy to my no longer secret fabric purchases. Um, we'll list everything down in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and share us with your friends. We would love that. And real quick, a word, um, you're going to maybe see some videos with some affiliate links coming in the future for, from, uh, Amazon. We just wanted to be straightforward about that. You know, we're not trying to get rich, but we are trying to kind of take some of the sting out of the financial, uh, res not responsibility. What's the word? The financial portion. I don't know what the right word is. The financial part of, of making videos. Um, there are things you have to buy. There are, you know, you spend your money on fabric, blah, blah, blah. So we're just trying to try to ease that a little bit with affiliate links. So if you do use those links, just know that we greatly appreciate it. And yeah, that is it guys. Thanks so much for watching and we will talk to you all soon. Take care. Bye.